on that home ice can they win gold for the first time in any olympic sport this is your team canada preview welcome on and i'm lauren shahadi alongside you know him nhl columnist wes goldstein is this an added pressure that they've never won a gold in olympic uh, in olympics on their soil or is that just kind of there haven't been that many winter olympics well there haven't been that many winter olympics but there's a lot of pressure let's face it for these guys if they don't win the, the gold medal here they might as well give up their citizenship i think that's the way a lot of them are looking at it back home and that that's the kind of pressure they're under there's a tremendous amount amount of pressure on this team to win. They're taking the best of the best. So let me ask you about the position players. A lot of guys changing positions. How will that affect this team? Well, certainly you're going to have a lot of players uh, in different roles because, first of all, this team is loaded down at center. They've had a, a lot of guys that play down the middle. Normally, they're going to be playing on the wing just because of the numbers. But I think in a situation for Team Canada in the Olympics, you're asking guys to do different things that you know they wouldn't normally do in their regular season. They're going to be asked to maybe kill penalties, play a more defensive role. So I think the guys who are on this team, they'll be, re they'll be ready to do whatever is ne necessary. And I think there's been a lot of discussion about an obscene number of NHL captains on this team. Who leads, who follows? What's the answer to that question? Well, the thing is, th this team has a lot of veteran presence on this team, and a lot of Olympic experience, and a lot of captains, obviously. Scott Niedermeyer is going to be the captain of this team, but he's got a lot of guys around him. Roberto Luongo is the captain and he's going to be one of the goalies. Martin Brodeur has been through this before. Joe Thornton has been before. Uh, Jerome McGinley is a captain who's been through this. So th they have a lot of leadership in that room and I think that's going to be important when they get on the ice. You mentioned Brodeur, you mentioned Luongo. What about Fleury? Now Brodeur is a veteran. Fleury is coming off a Stanley Cup win. Who starts in goal? I think at this point you have to give it to Martin Brodeur and I think that's been the plan all along that he would be the number one goalie. The real issue is what happens if he does have a bad game and, you know, will they come back to him? Will they switch right away to Luongo or Fleury? That's going to be something Mike Babcock has to decide once the series starts, but I think when it opens up, you're going to see Martin Brodeur in goal. Is there talk about this being Brodeur's last Olympics? Will that play any weight? Um, that, that may be. I mean, the next Olympics is not scheduled until 2014, and there's no guarantee the NHL teams will go. So I think Brodeur is getting to that point where he's moving towards the end of his career. Chances are this will be his last one. All right, a lot of expectations for Team Canada. I see how it all plays out on CBSSports.com. For Wes Goldstein, I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk to you real soon. Thanks for watching.